covered. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV Australia, Monday morning. It has done a balancing on 6 a.m. setting again this morning for about 20 minutes, right at the end of the process. I don't think we've got 100% actually in there. It was a 98.3 oh, it has, okay. Yeah, so less than 100. And I tell you the next loss will be 0 0.5 as per my calculations. Okay, this morning we are doing another test. We had, there was a discussion on Facebook the other day when we discussed the uh, different battery stuff. It's, it's too much for one video. <laughs> You know about the loss of capacity while parking. So you, you drive the car, you park it, and um, when you come back after a couple of hours, it has lost capacity, or it shows at least less capacity than it was when you parked the car. The only thing I have not tried is when I come to work, I leave the car turned on for about four or five minutes or so, and then turn it off. So give the battery a good rest before I turn it off. So the uh, theory behind our discussion was give the battery a rest before you turn off the car. So the BMU, the BMS knows about the rising voltage of the battery. Well usually you arrive at your destination and you turn off the car. And the test will be now leave the car on for a while when you arrive at your destination so the battery voltage will rise again i'll show you when i'm there and then turn off the the car so the last state of the voltage the bmu knows about is a higher one than if you would turn off the car straight away does it make sense yeah and then we will measure we will measure again the loss of capacity after i'm back in the car well, could be worth trying. So something is going on this morning here. We've got uh, 24 degrees outside and I just had the aircon on a little bit. And now I push it up to 26 because it was far too cold. And now I think the heater has kicked in and heats up the cabin with 4.5 kilowatts. So I'm not sure if this is the case. At the moment there's cool air coming out of the vent, but um, yeah, this looks suspicious. And the air condition sits on 26 and we are still firing with 2 kilowatts, but now it's going down. Yeah, that was weird. I think because it was already so cold in here, and I cranked up the air condition to 26 and then it realized oh it's colder in the cabin than what Andy actually wants so it turned on the heating for a moment for about three four minutes I would say on full power four and a half kilowatts heating the cabin because I want it warm <laughs> insane it looks like the whole software of the whole of the car is not really optimized and up to date. It does some weird things which shouldn't happen at all. I wonder if you can drive underneath this one here. With a very low car, small and low car, you should be able to just drive underneath this tractor, this harvester. I think it's a corn corn harvester or so. <laughs> it would be so funny. <laughs> So now I push it down to 22 and of course there's no heater coming on and it just uses the outside temperature now to cool down to 22. Even an automatic it will not turn on the air condition. I have uh, detached the air condition from the automatic. So before when you press the automatic button the air condition symbol always comes on. It doesn't mean the air condition kicks in but the symbol comes on and most of the time the air condition um, compressor kicked in as well and cooled down the air even if it wasn't really necessary. Um, I'll show you how to detach the air condition. Okay, so to do that, very easy to do, just press and hold the air condition button for about 10 seconds until the symbol on the display flashes.
there you go it beeps and now it's it's flashing so now it's connected to the auto button again so when I change mode um, the auto goes off so this is auto off when I press auto the air condition will kick in now it's connected to the automatic function if you want to take the air condition off of the auto function you just press and hold uh, I think I need to do this way hold it down until it beeps again and now the air condition is set on manual so if you press the if you press the automatic button so no automatic function the air condition won't come on it just uses the outside air temperature um, without air condition and I like this function rather than having the air condition kicking in you could hear the compressor kicking in all the time when you press the automatic button and yeah it's wasting energy it's just not necessary sometimes because we've got 25 outside now and if I set it to 22 the air coming in is cold enough to um, not overheat the cabin at the moment so I rather have this on manual so I just arrived at work these are the voltages um, let's go with the average one 3944 and of course the energy uh, the voltage is rising I'm turning all the appliances off now and I leave the car idling for another five minutes and then we will see what the battery voltage actually does and then I turn off the car and leave it here for a couple of hours and then we will see how much loss I still have okay um, 7.53, wait until 7.58, quick maths. Okay guys, just want to turn on this beeper here. 7.58 and we've got 3.965 volts. I can't remember what we had before. <laughs> it's early in the morning, it's not even 8 o'clock. So, um, I think it was 11... 11 or 12 millivolt anyway the, the battery has now battery voltage has now risen of course because we are just idling the car there's almost no load on it let's see if we can find out how much load is on there yeah about uh, 0.3 kilowatts just one amp this is probably the standby the standby current standby power of the car when there's nothing running no cooling I can actually hear the pump for the um, cooling of the DC DC converter and electric motor this seems to run all the time actually anyway 3966 at 759 okay let's turn off the car wait a couple of hours and see how much loss we have now see you then okay guys so we are back in the car that's um, nine, nine hours later now and oh, I need to turn on the car first huh? start live data and see how much we have lost now <laughs> 1.4 again 1.4 ampere hours brings me down to 16 so theoretically I've got only 7 8 ampere hours to get home and I've used 10.9 to get here well that'll be interesting so it doesn't seem like it makes a difference if you um, have the car idling for five minutes before you turn it off you still lose energy while parking with your first park okay test failed I would say but I'll, I'll try again a couple of times and see if it makes actually a difference because you can't just judge from one test right <laughs> okay guys so far this little test and short video as you requested of me at least some of you um, there will be longer videos coming very soon as well I'm looking forward to them actually I like longer videos there's so much to talk about okay guys thanks for watching thanks for your support this is Andy from Unplug TV Australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us in the next video soon okay bye bye Actually, I can show you the voltage now. It has risen to 3.976. So that's around, I, I can't remember the old values anymore. I can't remember. And I'll post them somewhere here on the screen now. Temperature has, 
risen, I think. I'll, I'll post this all on the screen here. But voltage has definitely risen during parking, but still ampere hours gone down. So the recalculation does some weird algorithm while parking and I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Okay, so far the extra.